Hi, my name is Dewey Finn from the Musical School of Rock. And since there's currently no school, yes, and you're learning from home, I'm going to be your teacher. So you can call me Mr. Schneebly. But we're not going to bother with none of those boring subjects. No, 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 no. We are going to stick it to the man, learn some rock instruments, so that you can be in the band. Yeah. So, if you want to learn how to shred the guitar like Hendrix, be the backbone of the band and play the drums like a pro, slap the bass with your bass face on, or be the king of the keyboards, then this is the school for you. Now, I am totally awesome on like all these instruments and could teach you super easy, but to save me a little time, I roped in some dudes to give me a hand, show you how to play. Now, are they as cool as me? <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you follow their instructions, you will go from beginner to pro in no time. Remember, music speaks to you. That is what matters most. First up, it's all you John Deacon wannabes. You heard of him, right? No? Susie Quattro? Les Claypool? Lemmy? We have got a lot of work to do. This one's for all you bass players. You ready to rock? We're gonna look at the song Stick It To The Man from School Of Rock, written by the Lord himself, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Okay, so we're gonna start with a clip that tells you a little bit about the playing style of the song, how to hold and play that bass so that you can stick it to the man. So, put on your bass face and get ready to worship at the altar of rock. First things first, if you've not played that much bass before, what we try to do and what you kind of need to do to be able to play these songs at, at full speed is with your right hand, rest it either on the body or I think my, my personal preference is to rest it on the pickup of the bass, okay? So if you've got a pickup in the middle here, you can rest your thumb there and then we're using the, the index finger and the middle finger and on each string we're playing as you play in, those fingers meet your thumb each time you play, and you play a note. You can also rest it on the neck, that gives you a kind of warmer sound. Or up on another pickup at the back, for a bit of a kind of trebly air, brighter sound. So, but the middle pickup is kind of a good, a good balance between, between all of that, really. So, throughout we generally, as a rule, alternate your index finger and your middle finger. So just as a good exercise to get started, I'll play very slowly, just with an open string, trying to keep both fingers even. Then with your left hand, we'll generally be playing one fret, one finger per fret. So a fret is the gaps in between these metal metal bits on the on the neck of the guitar. Okay, so and we count them up. So we go so zero. If I refer to zero, that means you're not playing any fret, you're just playing the open string. Okay, so on this one I'm playing the low E string. Okay, and then you play one is the first fret, the first gap, two, three, four. Hey, you are sounding awesome! Okay, if you got that, you need to move on to the intro and the verse of the number. So, I want to hear some sick, slick, bass slapping driving this song. It's over to Adam. Now, we start at bar five on beat four, bar five. So we have uh, four bars before, okay? And we come in on that fourth bar. So you'll get drums going boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, okay? And you get four of that, four bars of that, and then you come in on, so on four, and then you play, you play on four, and you play on the and of four. So one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? So one, and two, and three, and four, and. And what you play is you play with the fifth fret, fifth fret on the A string, which is a D, and I normally play that with my index finger, my first finger, and I play that with uh, my index finger on my right hand as well, okay? And then I play with my uh, ring finger, I play an E, okay? So that's on the seventh fret, so you move two frets up, so, and then I play that with my, uh, also with my middle finger uh, on my right hand, so, okay, so there to there, okay, 
And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a fall off, a nice big slide down. Okay, so you hold that note, you keep the pressure down there, not too much, otherwise it won't move at all, and not too little that it's just gonna go and just and, and not make a sound, but you want it to be like this. A nice, a nice cheeky slide down, okay? So, yeah, so. So then you do that twice. So that's two, three, boom, boom, two, three. Then you do the same rhythm, but you play. So that's a, that's eight. It's an F here. Going to seven. Still on the A string. And then you slide off again. So, so just that one time there, you go. So all together, it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three. Then back to D, E, and then one more time. But that time, that, that, that time you don't slide off because then you'd stay up on this E, okay? So it's all together from bar five is one and two and three and four 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 and then you're into this rhythm. You're staying on that on that seventh fret, but you go so ba 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 ba. Okay, so four and one, two and three. So then you're going, it's th that rhythm, one and two and three. So it's a, it's a longer note followed by a short note. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two. So ba, ba, ba. And I'm keeping it nice and short with my right, with, with, with my notes here. Okay, try and keep them as short and as staccato as you can. Okay, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so I'm going ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, okay, ba, 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 with my right hand, okay? And also, I'm in between notes, I'm lifting my hand a little bit off the A string to kind of give it even more uh, punch and funkiness to it, okay? So, from bar 10, ba, 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 okay? And then, ba, 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 okay? So you have that, you go back down to the 5th fret and the 7th fret, uh, back up to it in between that. So you go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, okay? So 4 and, you put that in the same place where you were, it, of the bar where we put it before, but you don't slide, you just stay, stay there to get back onto that E, okay? So if I play bar 10 through to 13, so... Okay, so there I went on, so 13 is the same thing, but you go up to the F again, okay? So you're going, so you're in between, so you're kind of doing this, this pattern. doing that again but in between you're playing bu, 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 the whole way through okay so if I show you from bar end of bar nine so one and two and three and four and 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 okay so when I go up to the F um, you can either use your pinky if you're feeling brave it's quite hard though for some um, I might do that or I might slide up and just use my uh, third finger down to my second finger so generally I'll be playing that E that seventh fret with my middle finger so then I can move when I move to the D I play with my index finger and then when I move to the F um, I can use my uh, ring finger okay so we'll go from bar five so one and two and three and four Four and now not 
start sliding. Ba, 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 nice and short. Ba, ba, ba. How you doing? You got it? You ready to move on to the chorus? Don't worry if not, just keep working on the intro and the verse. You got this. But, if you think you're ready, why not turn it up a notch and start rocking that chorus? Turn the dial up to 11 and let's make some noise. Great, so this is the chorus of Stick It To The Man. Okay, now, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> so bear with me. Right, we'll go from seventh, seventh fret. So that E we were already on. And I would say you should play it with your uh, ring finger. Okay, so your third finger and these notes are all uh, that all you hold them for a full beat uh, duration. Okay, so they're nice and long, which is kind of the opposite of what you played in the verse. Okay, so you know, remember the verse you're going but 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 nice and short. These are going long. So okay, so I'll teach you in little sections. So bar by bar, we'll go bar eighteen, seventh fret on the A string. Then I would play 5th fret on the next string up, okay? So that's the 2nd dot, that's the G on the next string up. And I play that with my index finger. So you've gone... Yeah? Then... So... Next one is the 7th fret, on still on that uh, D string, and you're playing an A, so it goes... And I play that with my ring finger as well, so... Okay, so then the next one, this back to this index finger on the fifth fret of the top string of the G string. Okay, so so slowly it's seven with your ring with your ring finger, five with your index finger on the same string, seven with your ring finger, and then five with your index finger on the string above, okay? So that bar goes like this. It's quite quick, so you might want to slow this right down, okay? So really slow. And you try and make it through this, this whole sequence, try and make it so that you've not let go of a note until you're about to, just about to play the next one. So you don't want it like this. Okay, you want it nice and long, like. And your left, my right hand is going. Okay, so walking and alternating your fingers as well. And, you're, and it does feel like you're walking. It feels like your hand is walking up the strings. Okay, walking bass line. Right, and then bar 19, uh, you move this shape down, move your hand down to the 5th fret, okay, and again, ring finger, 5th fret on the A string, the D, okay, then you play with your middle finger on, okay, on the F sharp on the D string, okay, so that's the 4th fret, so you've gone 5, 4, okay, then the G with your ring finger, so that's 5th fret, so you've gone 5, up a string, four, five, with your with your ring finger. That's the G there. Okay. So then you play the B, which is the fourth fret. And again, I would play that with my uh, middle finger on the next string. So so five, change string, four, five, and then four. So put that together, so the first bit, you've got move it down. Okay, same pattern with my right hand. Uh, and then you move this shape that you've just played in bar 19, you move it down to C, to the next dot down, and that is all the same fingering, all the same shape. So nice and easy, so so you've gone here, 
here you go three two three so you go three move up a string two three and then you go up a string to the two to a on the g string so okay so all together those three shapes it goes so remember those those last two are the same shape basically they're just they're just in different places on the on the fretboard so they just move down two dots okay so same until you get to the last note so so now we're looking at bar 21 and that goes on the B so the second fret of the A string then the first fret of the next string so two one two okay so two up a string one two then you go up a string but this time you don't play uh, you don't play one like you did with the other patterns you play an open string Okay, so an open G, so it's two, one, two, zero. Okay, so all together, that's move that shape down, move that shape down to one. So, so the start note has gone from five, sorry, seven to five to three to two okay so it's gone down two two frets two frets then one fret okay then you move up to that for bar 22 you hold nice long notes you play four c's so the third fret on the a string so one two three four and again alternating with the right hand so one two B is on the second fret of the A string, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, mute, okay? Or one, two, mute, okay? So hold it for two, then then put your hand, put your rest, rest of your fingers so the note stops, okay? And then you come back in with a bum, 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 for the solos. And you hold that E for absolutely ages without even doing while, while Zach and Lawrence have solos. So, that whole chorus section goes. A choice now. You may need to go back and do some more work on the intro, verse, and chorus. So, if you're playing a little loosey goosey, you need to tighten up those hinges, then rewind, go back, take another look at the video, just keep on working. Remember, it may take a little time, but soon you'll be jamming with the best of them. If you've got those sections down, then it's time to move on to the solo section. <laughs> This is my favorite bit, because we get to show everyone how freaking awesome we are. Now, there are some immense guitar, bass, drums, keyboard solos in this section. You are solo number three, the magic number. And I know you will blow the freaking roof off. Now, I could totally show you how to like seriously rock this next section, but I'm about to watch Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. So, while I'm doing that, you take a look at the next clip, which is going to show you how to break down the solo section to stick it to the man. <laughs> okay, now we're looking at bars 42 to 45 of Stick It to the Man, uh, the encore. So, this is Katie's bass solo. This is really fun. It's quite tricky. Um, and it starts very briefly on a D. So I play this on the open open D on the th on the third string up. Okay? And then it goes to the E second fret. 
Okay, so so you go so and then it's quite a lot of ease. So you're gonna have to get used to playing alternating fingers. Okay, alternating fingers with the right hand. So it gets pretty fast. So if you need to slow it down and build that up. So just just play on an E, just and try and make sure that they're nice and even. And then as you feel more comfortable, build up the speed. Okay, so we go. D E E E E K so D to E so da 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 so D E E E E E Okay so that's five E's there so D one two three four five then you jump your right hand up to to the G to the open G string so one so D one two three four five G D, one, two, three, four, five, G. Then back down to the E. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's just one bar. So it's squeezing quite a lot of notes into one bar, so it's quite quick. So D, one, two, three, four, five, G. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's that bar, that's bar 42. Bar 43. Now, if you're feeling comfortable, once you get used to this, slide up. So you can slide up from two to four. So you play on the top string, two, and then you slide up to the four. That just makes it sound really cool. You can you can just play it straight on the four because the four is the important note. The the, um, the note that like that the, okay that B that you're sliding up to. But you can just play the you can just play the B. So you can just go. So, but it sounds really cool if you can slide. So you're going. So I'm doing my ring finger going up to the four, okay? Then you play that note twice. Ba, ba. So. So that's four, four, two. Okay, it's so down to the A on that same top string. Four, four, two open string on that G string so you're all that's all on this top string here so four four two zero and then back down to that two on the D string okay so four four two zero two and then you do a nice bar, bar, which you're quite used to doing so that's zero to two okay so from uh, bar 42 very slowly it's Okay, and then bar forty four. So then you're fitting in five, one, two, three, four, five, G again. So that's five E's. So so you've gone from bar forty three, bar bar one, two, three, four, five, then an open open G on the next string. Back down to do five E's again, five on, t on this two, so five lots of two, three, four, five. Okay, so that bar is okay, so and again slower one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you finish with a stick it to the man. You go. For bar 45, it's two, two, so, so a longer two, then a short, short two, ba, ba. then open, open zero, open A there, just one of them, there's a longer one, and then, then three, 
third fret, first dot on the very bottom string, the E string, that's a G, so you go two, two, zero, three, and then open, open string, okay, to finish. Okay, nice big open E to finish your solo. And then and you make that sound as big as you can. Okay, so the solo slowly is. The hard thing here is when you're moving up to that open G, is to not let, it's hard to not make your uh, D string that you've just been on sound at the same time. So you can use your hand for muting here, or your your uh, right hand. You can always rest one of your fingers on that on that string, or you make it nice and short so that finger comes back down and rest. But, Okay. Wow, the new Star Wars movies are not as good as they used to be. Needs more hand solo. Speaking of solo, I bet you are incredible. Ready for the battle of the bands you will be. Okay, ye gods of rock, you are almost there. There's just the final chorus and the ending to master. So I'm gonna hand you back over to Adam. Got, we start we start on an, on an E actually on a note on the note E so that seventh fret on the A string that we're used to now hopefully um, you play it and you slide off so boom. okay so one two three four one two three four one two three boom, boom. okay so that we're used to that now hopefully the fifth to the seventh fret five seven and then you slide off again. So you just go, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Okay? Now we're into 53D, bar 53D. This is a really tricky bar as well, okay? So you don't play on the first beat, you play on beat two. So, you, so in my head, I always think for this lick, I think, one and then I think so always think about that one in your head before you start playing okay so then it's the seventh fret on the top string seventh fret on the top string right there okay so that D there then you go up to an E so I would play this with my index finger and then you go up to the ninth fret so that is the one two three fourth dot down okay and what I'm doing there is I'm playing it once with my finger and then trying to do a hammer on. So where you, you put, put down your finger, you slap it down quite hard and you hold it firm. So you don't have to play with this hand. You don't have to play with the right hand. So you go, okay, you can play it, but you can just go, but I think it sounds really cool to go. Okay, let's do a hammer on. So have a look at that. But if you can't, that's fine. So you go one, two and uh, three and uh. so you play five of those notes so in total you play six of them uh, six of those e's but if you hammer on the first one then you only have to pick uh, five of them so one two and uh, three and uh, four okay so one two and uh, three and uh, four Seventh fret, then you go down the string to the ninth fret. Okay, so that's one, two, and a three, and a four, and a. So on the and a, you play the seventh fret, ninth fret. So one, two, and a three, and a four, and a. Okay, but slowly it's one, two, and a three, and a four, and a. Two and a three and a four and a. Okay, 
two, three, four, and two, three, four, one. Okay. And then that leads into a chorus as well. So bar 54, it goes. Bar 54, you've got to try and land on this seventh fret. Okay, so back onto the E, so then you can go and start the chorus that we looked at before. Okay, then we're into bar 58 and we hold that C like we did before. Two, three, but we repeat, okay? So this time we don't go at this point. We hold that, that second fret, that B, for a whole bar as well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then repeat. Then we repeat bar 58 and uh, 59 uh, two more times. So all in all, you do three lots of this C uh, playing like that. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, And then we go to the ending you know, but I would say play it up here, and I'll show you why in a bit in a minute. So, so you go ba 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 ba. So you're used to that rhythm. Ba 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 ba. So the slight difference here, going into bar 65, you instead of just playing ba 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 ba, so ba ba ba, keeping it nice and short, you actually hold that E, that push on the and of four over into the next bar. So ba 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 Okay? So the first time you do it, so after that one, two, three, four, boom, it goes ba 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 then ba 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 Okay? And then you go a nice stick it to the man so ba 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 so da da so zero two two then G, open G string on the top string. I would play this next note, the E, with my middle finger, because then I'm playing a B flat, which we haven't played before, the first, first fret on the A string, on the second string. Nice evil sounding note. Okay, you play that twice. Okay. So zero two two zero two one one, and then you move up to I would move to the middle middle finger two on two 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 zero three. Zero, and then you play the zero again. So put a, what we call a button on the end, because you tie it up nicely, put a little button on it, and that's bop, and it stops the song. So that last bar, you'll notice is the same as the solo, apart from the last E, so. Um, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. So that from bar 66 is. alternating fingers on the right hand. So, if we go from bar 53A, one, two, three, I'm kidding, it's right here. Dudes and dudesses, that was awesome.
Now, I think it's time to put the whole song together. So, if you need to go back, check up on a few bits, do it. Otherwise, it is time. <laughs> now remember, if it's not perfect, who cares? Rock is not about being perfect. It's not about the rules. It's not about your grades. Rock is about sticking it to the man. And that's what we're going to do right now. Now, you have a choice. You can go easy with a slow version of the song, or if you're feeling confident, you can go full speed ahead. So, bass face on. Picture yourself at Wembley or Madison Square Gardens, and let's do this. From bar five. One, two.